recording. You can see on these that they've already got images on them, all right? So these are ones that I printed over the summer. I'm done using these. So now to reuse the stone, they have to be grained, which literally means grinding the top level off until they're perfectly smooth again so the next image can go on it. So this one, we've been in the process of graining, and I'm gonna show you basically how that works. It does take multiple steps, but each step is essentially the same. You get the stone wet. This is carborundum, <laughs> which is a grit, kind of metallic grit. So it's like you're putting Parmesan on a pizza or something, right? You get a little dust on there. And then this happy fellow is the levigator. The levigator is the strangest tool in this studio. It's a heavy, and I mean heavy, <sighs> surface that has a handle on it that is off center. It's not in the dead center. This acts basically like an axle. So it will allow the whole thing to spin, but it kind of spins in a crazy figure eight. Does can attest to how like kind of hard it is to get it going the first time. So I'll do it for you, but this is the basic thing. Get it going. And then you're just kind of moving your arm essentially forward and back. I'm just kind of going back, forward and back. And I'm trying to go in kind of a figure eight pattern or an S pattern. Does not like the S because it's kind of small. Can you see how the grit's getting grayer? That's because we now have not just carborundum on there, but we also have stone that we've worn away. Once it starts to get kind of slow and gummy, it's time to check to see if it's level. So usually, to grain off the previous image, it's gonna take probably a minimum of four passes with the rougher grit, and another two, if not four passes with the finer grit, which is gonna give us a nice smooth surface. But that's gonna transform these, right, with images already on them into a workable surface. Okay, we can head back in. <laughs>